So, so chaos comes from destruction. I think is what is happening. We uh, we choose to be destructive when we are malicious towards someone, and so we choose to be chaotic. Listen, I think a big part of philosophy is overcoming fear, like personal fear. Philosophy, it's uh, like studying philosophy is not being a philosopher. Studying other philosophers just makes you someone that studies philosophy, a philosophy professor, perhaps. But to be a philosopher, you have to search yourself because you know all the answers. I think that we are not amateur philosophers, but just truly philosophers of life. Like those before us and those that will come after us. And the people that can study us, can study us and teach about what we say as philosophers, or they can choose to be philosophers themselves. Forget about us. Forget about me. Speak your own philosophy. Um, JP, I was going to say, don't worry, don't worry about putting IC before the stuff that you were going to, the videos that were you're talking to me. It's, it's not about me. Like, I, you don't need me to understand. It helps when we communicate. But it's about you. And, and I think it's important for each of us to make this YouTube experience as well as this world experience about us. About the individual. There's no point in denying that everything we do is selfish. Like when you help someone, you're doing it because it feels good to help them. You're not doing it for them. Literally, you're doing it because you feel good when they are helped. If you save someone's life, you feel good. And that is why we do what we do. Everything is motivated through the, by the self. There's an understanding and empathy, but we are still motivated. We motivate ourselves. We are self-perpetuated machines. I'm really interested in you and what you have to say. Overcoming the fear, dude, that is such a huge part. That is what this is, is overcoming the fear. Because in order to be a philosopher, in order to speak the truth, you have to, you have to speak the truth. I don't know if that quite speaks. In order to speak the truth, you have to let go of the lies. All the secrets. Let them go. Let them, let them go. Let them upload them into the consciousness, into the internet of reality. If we're all computers, which I think we are in this metaphor, computers are kind of like we built computers to be humans. They are like brains. They have sensory input. Um, sensory input. That was the way that Rebecca phrased it, and that stuck with me. They do have sensory input computers, com keyboards and mouse and buttons and... Okay, so take that metaphor that computers are like people. Now, a thought, what we have in our mind, is like information on a hard drive. And we can only have so many thoughts on our mind. If our mind is thinking about things, then that is information on our hard drive. And that information can clog up our hard drive if we, if we have it on our computer. So what we do as a human being and as a computer for YouTube is we or for whatever it is, you upload the information by speaking it to a server, to a consciousness. When you speak the truth to someone about something that is on your mind, say like, say like you peed yourself two weeks ago and you're afraid to talk about it and it's on your mind. When you speak about it, you upload the information. That's funny that peed myself came to it. I had a dream that I had to pee five times, like five different times within the dream. I had to pee really bad, but I didn't pee myself in the dream, but I peed myself in the past. And one time I had a dream where I was behind a tent, peeing, like a huge circus tent. And I was peeing, and then I woke up and I realized I was really peeing. But then I thought, well, it feels amazing. And I was just like, fuck it. And I went back to bed. It was so good. And that was the last time I peed myself. Because I accepted it.
I'm not ashamed of it. So you upload the information, like what I just did. You speak it, you upload it, then you, it, you can delete it from your hard drive. Sorry about that, that jabbing in that, that aspect of my dream and when I'm trying to explain this. I know it becomes a little disjointed, but I think that it's still, the, flow, the thought is still flowing about uploading your thought and removing it from your hard drive because these thoughts clog it up. They get too full and you can't take any more information and people get distracted when they have stuff on their mind, things they're afraid to say to people. They get distracted, they look around, they can't speak the truth because they don't, they're not listening because they can't take any more information in because their hard drive is full. So upload the information by speaking it. Speak it to as many people as you can and clear it off it, it just as you speak it, it clears off your computer. You don't need to like. I say speak it in front of a camera because there's no one in the room, so it's a little easier. And then put it online, and other people see it. Because of technology, we don't have to face that physical fear of violence, and we can still speak our truths. It's like a high tech confessional. So that's what I was gonna say. That's what you have to do. But that's a little extreme. That's influencing people. Uh, you don't have to do it. But if you speak, the, speak your fears and upload them to the consciousness, let other people take these fears on and hear them and understand it, it takes the weight off of you, literally. It takes the weight off your shoulders, literally. And then you are a lighter, more aware Jedi. So free yourself of the secrets, and that is the journey. JP, thank you for this video. Well, that's extraneous. I'll talk to you soon.